All right, guys, we had a great time fishing and we just got a snake call. We had gotten a call about this snake yesterday and honestly, I didn't think much of it. They said there's a huge python in our backyard and uh, we need somebody to get it. So we're like, just send us a picture of the python and we'll come and catch it. Well, they sent us a Google image of a uh, albino Burmese python. If you know anything about the pythons here in South Florida, they're not albinos. Uh, they are normal colored snakes, you know, brown and tan. And now today they just message us saying, please, the snake is back. And they're sending these blurry photos of like a clearly white and yellow snake. So there's some big albino snake in the yard. Uh, we told them just to stay back and we'll be there, find out what it is. But it's obviously some kind of released pet. It looks kind of big, could be a big snake. Let's go check it out. Let's see what it is. It's a giant boa constrictor. That is one of the biggest. That is one of the fattest. It's a pet snake. So I'm gonna, I almost didn't even think it was real. I tell you, I'm gonna, I'll get it out real quick. I'll show you. Is it gonna run? No. no. He's so it's, fat, he can't fat. get away. How did it get in here? Oh uh, I mean, it could have even been your neighbor for all we know. Here, buddy. Are you okay? Let's see how you feel. Yeah, he's friendly. Oh my gosh, Tay. Oh my gosh. Look at this. That is the world's <laughs> fattest. So it's not friendly. No. Look, that is the fattest bug constrictor wow. I have ever seen. He's not as friendly as I thought he was, but it's okay. So many of us Look, here, maybe. <laughs> yeah. There. Not poison? No. No. No, he's fine. Constricts the prey. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but he can he can give you a good bite. Uh, boas have got pretty big teeth. I'll see if he'll calm down. So everybody can see. So about five six feet. Yeah. Oh no, he's probably like seven. Yeah. You say, oh, there's a huge snake in my backyard. I don't always think there's gonna be a huge snake, but yeah, look at that. I can keep it. I walk with the cats here. Like, oh. I mean, he looks like he eats them. So. This isn't the species that's here in Florida. So this is a boa, and they're completely different from pythons. These are from Central and South America. Uh, and pythons, they lay eggs. These give live birth. They can't breed with oh, each other. Yeah. Many boas, that's that's I, I don't we know. Were, we were afraid. We, we're going to go home and wait. All right, so did you guys get to see them? I'm going to go bag them up. Yeah, yeah, we're good. You're good? Know. Yeah, take it. Okay. <laughs> look at them. Look at them being defensive. That's so funny. We have a lot of rabbits. Yeah. Rats. Yeah. Ooh. Wow. And a lot of times we get calls for pythons and boas. I was wondering if it might be like a rattlesnake. Because we get a lot of rattlesnakes out here. So how, if you think it's a pet, like someone just accidentally let it out or just... Could have escaped. Right? Someone yeah. could have been like, this thing's and let it go. I mean... Pushed out of a cage. Yeah. Your snake is captured. Thank you. Oh yeah. oh yeah. Oh my gosh. That thing is huge. I mean that has been eaten well. I think it's longer than six feet. I think it's probably close. To, can you say I was holding it? There's still some on the ground. I, think I don't it's, think it's that long. I think it's like close to eight feet, but that is probably the- That bow is not eight feet. Well, You're not that tall. Well, yeah, yeah. We got it bagged up back there. Toby's playing with it. Just kidding. You would eat him. We have snake wrangling red. That's right. Back up. So let's oh. get home. I'm gonna put Toby away because obviously he's not trying to live this life of handling this boa. Get up just... close footage of it. We're gonna weigh it. We're gonna try to measure it as much as we can. <sighs> These guys are like really bad with size estimates. Rhett's over here saying this boa is like nine feet. I so said you eight. know what that means. That's eight. what you know what he thinks about himself. I'm gonna go with like max like six feet two inches. I'm gonna go with seven feet two inches. I think just because it's so thick, it makes it look short. I think it's so thick that you're just assuming it's like 100 feet. Okay, guys, we are gonna weigh this snake. Rhett is 159.2 pounds. Woo! Coming in big as a weight lifter. 211.8. Woo! So this snake is 52 pounds. That is big boa. Oh, it's straight, it's straight. Oh. It crinkled up pretty good. All right, don't let the tape hit it too hard. All right, right at the end. Hold on. Nine feet, 113 inches, so. 
hundred. Nine feet five inches. Here, I'm gonna go get you from behind so you don't bite me. Oh, that works. <laughs> yeah, get him to look at you. Oh, we see. Right. We see why you were let go. Oh my God, he looks so cute. We're moving him uh, to a shady spot so we can take a better overall look at the snake. So that's the only reason he's in the wheelbarrow. We don't want him to overexhaust in the heat, especially considering it's an albino snake. Tay just got her out to rinse her off and we're gonna look at her, give her an examination. What a gorgeous snake. She is very defensive. So Taylor's gently, gently holding her behind the neck. So as you guys know, this is not a Burmese python. People can own these as pets. This is as big as they get, nine and a half feet. You'll hear they get bigger, but it's pretty rare. Tay, so who was right about the size? <clears throat> yes, Rhett. So I'm sorry if I tell my friends that you're because I'm bad at measuring. Are oh, you talking about how tall I am? Yeah. She doesn't like constrict like the python. You know, pythons normally by now are already like. Yeah. Tay's barely, barely, barely restraining her. Big difference between pythons and boas. Pythons uh, lay eggs. Boas give live birth. Uh, these boas are originally from Central and South America. And this one is just a color morph from the pet trade. She is absolutely stunning. Babe, you finally got your albino animal in the wild. <laughs> okay, this doesn't count. She's like, up here she has scars she's probably been outside for a while yeah. look she's already calming down she's your new best friend you know i hate waking up early but it was so worth it we got in the water we hung out toby we ate snacks and we got a call for a freaking albino boa that is absolutely ginormous the absolute unit of boas definitely not how we thought that they would go Let's stick around because we're going to build her an awesome enclosure and you'll see her in future videos because we're stuck with her don't forget to like subscribe hit notifications and see you next yeah. time